Welcome back everyone to the LiveGDX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be discussing Scene 2D UI buttons. So if we take a look at the main page of LiveGDX, we can see that the widgets are the simplest form will be a button. We have the normal button, we have the text button, and we have the image button. All right, here we are back in IntelliJ. So just as we defined before, we have the table. I will have a video going over that. You can check that out. So what we're going to create is the button. So the button for libgdx is actually very straightforward. So on what we do, we do button, call this button equals to new button, and then we can pass in the skin object inside the parameter. So now just to add it to the table, we can just call table dot add and then button. And then we're gonna set the width to be 300. And then we're gonna set the height to be 100. So this right here, will actually add a generic button. Now we can see the button is defined just like this, where we can actually click on it. And again, uh, this button will have the select state, which is the over state. And then the down state is when we press it. And then the normal state when it's up. So we can define a text button just like so. So we do text button uh, equals new text button. And then inside the parameters, we're gonna pass in in our text so i'm going to do play and then we're going to pass in the skin object which is the skin object and then right here this right here is going to be the exact same as the normal button but just with text and as you can see for comparison we have the normal button right here towards the left and then we have the text where it says play and you can see that you can actually put your own fonts with that's included in the skin and you have a button without no font which is just a default button all right we can define a new image button by calling image button image button equals to new image button and then passing the skin object as the parameter and then we can add it to the table by doing table dot add and this right here will add a image button to our scene as you can see right here towards the right we have an image button again we actually have it highlighted as the mouse is hovering over it same principles as the X button or the normal button but one thing different it adds an image now libgdx provides a special collection called button group it's an easy Easy way to manage buttons or buttons but it's also most common for radio buttons you can define a button group by doing button group and then we pass in the type which is we're going to do a plain button and then we're going to do equals new button group and then we can just add our buttons towards this group doesn't matter what type because the button is the basic class for each of these buttons right here the image button extends button so they're all part of the same type so this right here is just a simple way to manage buttons especially if you have a more larger complex scene with different widgets and stuff. It just makes it more easier to view. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I hope you find something new and find something more interesting to add to your new scenes. Be sure to check out the scene to UI tables and how that set that up. Um, anything else, have a good one.